be live. Keep saying it every every time. That's for sound checking. And find the previous chat that started you one. Still this uh, game ECG game. Currently looks like this. print screen of this thing because it's quite a few uh, issues with it so what it currently looks like we have well obviously the HTML a JavaScript, mostly JavaScript, no, about half, half, about 100 lines of code in JavaScript. And, um, ah, wait, that's for the waveform generation. Yeah, actually have the, the waveforms, they are hard, uh, hard coded. So there is an example for, so as you know, QRS, um, e ECG, normal ECG signal will have P, Q, R, S, T waves, and there are examples in here with um, two variations of the QRS. One is normal like this, one is the skewed. Then you have an example of no P wave, no S wave, no T wave. Very basic, we could potentially add more. Let's start popping this into the people people keep screaming at me for using GPT-4 for coding, even though I also have um, a GitHub copilot. But the thing about it is it has that it's better in uh, keeping overall context. Yeah, we have an add script there as well, but it's not live yet. And we're always risking hitting that 40 messages per three hour uh, limit. Won't tell you what the current uh, is state is. Like what's our current uh, message rate? That's okay. Yeah, last time, yesterday we modified this function. It works better. So remove the previous one. Why sometimes the linter, whatever it's called, they're insisting on putting to carriage return to empty lines between functions and other things. Calculate that, put that in as well. That 
the main thing for this application is this uh, Python script is getting ridiculously long now. Let's talk and see if there's anything commented out that we might not need. So again, why the double line is spacing here and there. Having a now description we have a waveform detection using AI. That's what we're doing today: signal abnormalities and noise. Um, currently, it's just signal abnormalities, no noise added onto it. Yeah, that's the one uh, with uh, abnormal uh, QRS complex. And just in case you haven't watched the previous videos or live streams, what we're trying to do now is uh, have a machine learning algorithm playing this game. So it's already doing it, but it's not really good. So it's essentially telling you what's the likelihood for the signal to be abnormal. I don't know why it's not displayed there. There's a, some sort of uh, error happening in the in the processing. We have to check. Can you keep responses very short? Just a few quick uh, questions looking at the code above. It's what we have as an output in the terminal. Um, it is different to what's on the front panel. Primarily the abnormality output is not being displayed. I think there might be an error. Yes, I get the following error in the browser. The discrepancy between the terminal output and the front end display, along with the JavaScript error, suggests a mismatch in data handling between the back end, class cap, and the front end, game underscore logic, JS. The error message type error cannot read properties of undefined, reading, abnormality, in display analysis result function of game underscore logic, JS indicates that the expected property abnormality is not present in the data received from the back end. Possible causes. Mismatch in JSON structure. The back end might be sending a different JSON structure than what the front end expects. Ensure that the key abnormality exists in the JSON object sent from the back end. Data parsing issue. There might be an issue in how the front end is parsing or accessing the response data. 
Solutions. Verify JSON response. Check the JSON structure being sent from the Flask app. Ensure it contains the abnormality key with the expected value. Inspect front end code. In game underscore logic, JS, where you handle the response from, analyze underscore waveform, ensure you're correctly parsing and accessing the abnormality value. By aligning the data structures and ensuring proper handling in both back end and front end, you should be able to resolve this issue. Okay, so would it be a prompt for a GitHub copilot? So in theory, start a new chat. Oops. In theory, if we place a workspace there and pop the whole thing in, it should be determining what the information to collect, which never really works. Probably using it incorrectly. It also briefly tells you yeah, it's used nine references. It won't actually show you what they are. Ah, no, it is. Right, so I decided to look at and yeah, we haven't done the test by yet. Right, and it's also looking at the entire API and the game logic JavaScript, uh, but there's certain lines of code, which is okay. And it tells us uh, to verify the JSON response structure. Suggesting to print a response. We already have print process data. I'm not sure it looked at the code properly. Because it's uh, I'm returning a JSON file response data. Uh, can you double check the previous response? Would it pick up on the fact that uh, I apologize for confusion, blah, blah, blah. Response data. Okay don't have abnormality in it. So it does make sense. On the front end side, why those are not links? Sometimes they are links like over, like over here. This one I actually need to search. Will be game logic. What is that? Uh, okay, same thing, I'm not sure it's correct here. Can you double check the previous response? Uh, 
carefully display. Not sure we're ready to display it anyway. Okay, now we're getting an error. And display analysis results. Should I have one call with one function? And this era, how about I select something this abnormality? Those are not links. It's really annoying. Okay, let's now. It's about to say. Do I have another wife home? It's a fetch. actually talking about the Python script. Let's pass away from pause, define away from data. Then we have response data of normality. We're returning it as JSON to normal. This is a compass placeholder.
my analysis results. We already have it. That's obviously doesn't work. Check the ID. The ID should be called abnormality. That's correct. Yeah, that's right. We have it used in analyze waveform. It's the one we're getting uh, 500 error for. based on so this is the Python thing and we need to update Date. Have to update. This will be referring to this code here. The two functions analyze waveform and display analysis result. Yeah, we tried to include a normality key. Already have it. This one has get Bit what? We already have these functions. That makes sense. Was this uh, should fix it?
Can I just do... Can I look at all the files? I can do it with workspace. It's collecting information. Having trouble going live. Clear. Clear. I didn't change the code much. The error message, error in analyze underscore waveform, abnormality, indicates that the key, abnormality, is not being found where it's expected in your Flask application. This issue likely occurs in the analyze underscore waveform function. Here are a few steps to troubleshoot. Check abnormality underscore analysis output. Ensure that abnormality underscore analysis output abnormality in the fuzzy underscore logic underscore analysis function is correctly computing and returning a value. Verify key presence in response data. Make sure that the response data in analyze underscore waveform function includes the key, abnormality. This key should be part of the dictionary returned by fuzzy underscore logic underscore analysis. Error handling. Implement error handling in analyze underscore waveform to catch and log more details if the key, abnormality, is missing. This will help to isolate where the issue is occurring. By carefully checking these areas, you should be able to identify and fix the root cause of the error. Trouble going live on LinkedIn. Just check my settings quickly. We're picking a region, what is it, South, US, South Central, uh, South Central, getting stream URL. Getting the stream key. Start the stream.
super weird. I think it's that, uh, that server. Is uh, really slow. Track in. Nope. Trouble going live on LinkedIn. Doesn't matter. Try again next time. So we doing this game. Trying to automate this. Trying to sort this analysis result. We having a 500 because we changed the names. We have processed that. Uh, wait. Do we have abnormality analysis? It should be the same as the. Don't have a Well, abnormality analysis is not a function. Is this a function? No. So why are you telling me to use it as a function? This is so wrong. It's a variable name. What are you talking about? Please double check, it's a variable name. What color? You should have all the colors. It's crazy that the... the What if I do no but this is only used in this um file anyway so it's some sort of a variable name thingy. If we do the whole workspace should be able to search for all the variables, uh, all the all the relevant uh, script. The message that just the multi key is not present in analysis data. 
is there it should be response data understand where is it getting it is from we have process data the abnormality value is the output of the fuzzy logic analysis it's jumping like that We have fuzz logical analysis. In Python code, that's correct. Do we have computer normality? Yeah, I think it's getting confused with this uh, a control system simulation variable. No, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. GitHub Copilot gets a penalty. A yellow card. Let's restart it quickly. Just revert back to what we had. At least it was uh, displaying all the other stuff. So the fuzzy logic analysis. Normality analysis.
default so this is uh, correct have the process data now let's do this bit so that's for the first uh, point there verify key presence and response data make sure that the response data in the analysis waveform function in includes the key of normality okay that might be the problem We have this response that uh, yeah, let's do this, see if it makes any sense. this bit you're gonna write the code based on the output you shared it looks like the abnormality key is being correctly calculated in your flask application abnormality 0 0.833333333333335 the issue then seems to be in the transmission of this data to the front end or its handling there to resolve this ensure correct data packaging in the analyze underscore waveform function after you call fuzzy underscore logic underscore analysis Make sure the abnormality value is correctly included in the response dictionary. It should be something like Python copy code response underscore data equals analysis result analysis underscore data result dot 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 abnormality analysis underscore data result hash or directly abnormality underscore analysis output abnormality dot 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 closing curly bracket check JSON response format. Ensure the JSON response sent back to the front end matches the expected format in game underscore logic, JS. The key abnormality should be accessible in the response object. Review front end data handling, in game underscore logic, JS, particularly in the display analysis result function, check how you're accessing the abnormality data. It should match the structure of the JSON response from the server. Debugging. Use console.log in your JavaScript to print out the received data and verify its structure. Okay, okay, okay. By aligning the data handling between your Flask backend and the front-end JavaScript, the abnormality value should correctly display on the front panel. Yeah, we're not using the process data, do we? Are we? If I place abnormality that's all Example threshold. Why do we need a threshold? Okay, the abnormality. Still not being displayed. Why does it have to be in result? Normality.
do I have abnormality confidence? Knows why is suggesting it? It's really weird. Thousand and eight two hundred. Any display analysis results? And this is not correct. Response data we have this. Yeah, the, there's a couple of things. The amplitude. Yeah, when it seemed to be 349, raw value is being normalized to 1. 300 to 0.6. Okay. 349 to 1. Should have another one. So essentially, if you have the standard peak there, it will be 349, which is the maximum value. And then, yeah, to 88, which is 0 Yeah. Clear. Yes, we changed it.
The JavaScript error type error cannot read properties of undefined. Reading abnormality suggests a couple of potential issues in your game underscore logic. JS. Data access issue. When you're trying to access the abnormality property in display analysis result, the object from which you're trying to read abnormality is undefined. This could be due to the the response from the server not containing the expected object. A problem in the way the response data is being handled or parsed in your JavaScript. Asynchronous data handling. If you're dealing with asynchronous requests, like Fetch API, ensure the data is fully received before trying to access its properties. To debug this, log the response. Right before the display analysis result function is called, log the entire response object to the console. This will help you see what structure you're working with. Check the data path. Make sure that the path you're using to access abnormality matches the structure of the response. For example, if the response is an object with a property data, and abnormality is inside data, you would access it with response, data, abnormality. Error handling. Implement error handling around the data access to gracefully manage cases where the data might not be in the expected format. By carefully logging and examining the response data and ensuring that your data access code aligns with the actual structure of the response, you should be able to identify and correct the issue. Based on the provided response data structure, the key, abnormality, is indeed present and should be accessible. The error in game underscore logic, JS likely arises from how this response data is being handled in the display analysis result function. To fix this, you need to ensure that the data path used to access abnormality in game underscore logic, JS matches the structure of the response data. Here are the steps. Correct data access, in display analysis result, you should access the abnormality value as follows, assuming data is the variable holding the parsed JSON response, JavaScript copy code let abnormality value equals data, abnormality. Check response parsing. Ensure that the response from the server is correctly parsed into a JavaScript object. You might be doing something like logging for debugging. Add a console.log statement just before you try to access abnormality in display analysis result to log the data object. This will help you verify the structure of the received data. Error handling. Implement additional error handling in display analysis result to catch cases where the data might not be in the expected format. By aligning the data access method in game underscore logic, JS with the structure of the response data, the issue should be resolved. Yes, we have that. This play analysis result. It, Okay, that's not working. And uh, this function being called 
Let's log it here as well. Well, yeah, because I'm getting an error. Where's the error coming from? Display. Five. It's meant to be console log. Let's log somewhere. You can't log that, can you? Someone is screaming at me. Okay, I removed it, so it's probably control of five. Problem. Oops. So, why does the keyboard thingy? Okay, now the problem went away. This why not? Okay, I get it. I get what you're trying to do. That's fine. No, wait, where's the hey, no, no, no. Play of normality. Uh, value. Is that what's called? Don't think so. It's not called I'm not Where are you suggesting this from?
Okay, that works. The ID is abnormality. This definitely should be uh, text context abnormality abnormality value. Right, okay. <laughs> this bloody little things. Would this just work? Instead of normality value, I just place that abnormality, comment that out. Don't quite understand how it works, but it shouldn't matter because we have two bots helping us, so it should be fairly straightforward. Okay, this seemed to work. Just remember short responses. What else are we not displaying that will uh, tell us more information about how the fuzzy logic decision is being made? Yep. Great to hear that it's working now. To further enhance the understanding of the physiological decision-making process in your game, consider displaying the following additional details. Membership values, show the fuzzy logic membership values for each parameter, frequency, amplitude, positive peaks, negative peaks. This will provide insight into how each parameter contributes to the overall abnormality score. Fuzzy logic rules okay, activation. Okay, 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 you're talking too much, you're generating too much text in shorter responses. Can we also check if the so we don't actually need the number of peaks the positive and ne negative peaks normalized can we fix that quickly peaks yep Sure. To remove the display of the normalized positive and negative peaks, simply comment out or delete these lines in the display analysis result function. This change will stop these particular details from being displayed on your front end. Yeah, we want to delete them entirely. We don't actually need them. Yep. Got it. If you don't need the normalized positive and negative peaks displayed, but want to keep the code for potential future use, you can simply comment out those lines. 
This way, the code remains intact for reference or later activation. By commenting out these lines, the normalized peak values won't be displayed, but you can easily restore them if needed later. Uh, no, you misunderstand. We don't need them at all in the whole project. We want to remove them. Uh, we also need to make sure they're not being used for the fuzzy, log fuzzy logic algorithm decision process. Yep. Understood. To completely remove the normalized positive and negative peaks from your project, you'll need to do two things. Remove display code. In display analysis result in game underscore logic, JS, delete the lines that set the text content for normalized positive peaks and normalized negative peaks. Adjust backend logic. In your Flask app, especially in the fuzzy underscore logic underscore analysis function, ensure that the normalized positive and negative peaks are not being used in the fuzzy logic decision-making process. If they are currently used in any rules or calculations, you'll need to modify or remove those parts of the code. By making these changes, you'll completely remove the dependency on normalized peak values in both the front-end display and the back-end logic of your project. Normalize and negative peaks. Yeah, that's okay. I thought we will remove the the raw is not needed. The raw bit because we only have one value there. Do I have a sense that this will give us an error? Yes, it does. Analyze waveform. Yeah, so we it should be just realized re relying on it should be raw Still having an error. Okay, we'll continue next time. See you in a bit. Put your comments. Send send your comments, please. So I don't have to talk to the bot too much. So I can talk to humans as well. Bye for now.